Hey guys, my name is Felicia Olivia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial and stay tuned. So, so far I already did my brows. If you want to know how I did that, you can go back to my other video and I'll show you step by step of how to get nice, beautiful, natural looking brows. The first product I'll be using is the Makeup Forever Reboot Active Care Revitalized Foundation. I'm going to be pairing that with the Luxe Performance Brush by Bare Minerals. Whatever works for your skin is best, but I really love this foundation because it is very full coverage for me. If you are looking for a good foundation, you can always go to Sephora. They'll skin match you and they'll give you the best recommendation based off of if you have dry skin or oily skin, combination skin. I'm just going to add a little bit to the brush. I'm just going to get the spots that I was unable to get. You see how I got rid of all my dark little spots? For the stuff that it doesn't fully get rid of. I guess you could say it is a little bit of a medium coverage. But if I put more on, it will be full coverage. We're making this an everyday look, so we're not trying to put too much of this onto our face. You don't want to feel like a cake face. I'm just going to make sure everything is blended out. The way I love this brush because it really just gets into every little crease. So now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour cameo concealer with the matte finish I usually wouldn't use matte finish but I like the way this one dries down and it really is like full coverage underneath my eye I'm just gonna put that underneath here A little bit above my lip because I got a little dark spots there. And a little bit on my chin. And in the corners of my mouth. I'm gonna bring this up my nose. And a little bit on my forehead. And I'm blending it with this beauty blender that I'm pretty sure I got from Sephora. It's angled on one side and it has a point on the other side. I love black beauty blenders because they don't look disgusting after you wash them a few times. They don't keep the color. You want to always make sure your beauty blender is a little damp. I just finished washing, washing both of these. Oh, well, a whole bunch of beauty blenders. But this one has a little bit of a dampness to it. Please don't mind this ridiculous face I'm making. This really makes me cringe when I see other people do it, but I can't help it at all. <laughs> You can get into the corners of your eye with the pointed side. I'm just gonna 
and seal around your mouth. And then for me, I'm gonna conceal these dark spots on my chin. And then I'm gonna do my forehead. For some people who like to contour their nose before blending this part out fully, you can always go in with a contour. Let's use some nice affordable products today. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. cream contour palette. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna use the darkest color I have here. So I'm gonna use my concealer brush. I'm just gonna bring this up the bridge of my nose. On both sides. If you want that nice button effect, you would put a little bit here. But I already got a big button nose. So I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna blend it out with this contour brush by Makeup Forever. Maker. Good. I'm just gonna blend it out with this smudge. Whoa, god damn it. I'm just gonna blend it out with this contour brush by Makeup For You. What it looks like. I'm just gonna press it. I'm gonna go up the bridge of my nose. want a darker more contoured look you would add a little extra contour straight down but I'm fine then I'm just gonna go in on top of that with my Tarte creaseless concealer just to brighten up my eyes underneath and this is in the color Deep Sand. I'm just gonna tap this in. This is a little like sticky and dewy. See how it brightens up everything? I'm gonna go back in with my smudge brush and use a little bit of the same contour palette. I'm going to put a little bit on my cheek. And I'm using my same foundation brush to do this. And then I'm going to go in with my powder. I'm going to be using two different powders. I'm going to be using the Ben Eye Luxury Powder in the color Banana. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Press Mineral Foundation Tint in the color N100. And I'm going to be using my Morphe E4 brush. That's what it looks like. I'm going to start off by using my Banana Powder. I'm just going to put this onto a sponge. No banana powder gets left in the dust. And I'm just going to pat that into my under eye. 
I'm gonna set the top of the eye also. Set in right underneath my contour. And a little bit above my lip. Wait, under my lip. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Morphe E4 brush and I'm going to put it into my foundation powder. And I'm just going to dust away all the excess of the Ben Eye powder. And this will get rid of all the ghosty looking light skin powder. I'm just going to put this all over my face. And don't forget to put a little bit on your neck. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette. This is the Morphe eyeshadow palette 352. Hmm. A few of my colors broke, but all of my black broke. I'm going to be using the Lux. 249 brush the double ended brush and I am going to take this nice chocolate color here I'm just gonna dust this on the crease of my eyelid and I'm just gonna put it on the crease of my eyelid on the other side. This brush is still a little damp. So I'm going to take the Lux 205 tapered blending brush and I'm just going to Blend that color in because that other brush I just finished washing and it is a little damp. I'm just going to blend that in. going in and blending until it's fully blended in. Then I'm just going to take a color that is close enough to my skin tone a nice light chocolatey color I'm going to be using this color here I'm going to just take that right to on top of my eyelid I'm 
just gonna blend that in with the crease also. I'm using Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner. That's what it looks like. I don't know how I got this. Honestly, I think I got it from Ipsy. And I absolutely love it. I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Then I'm just going to take my setting spray. This is the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. That's what it looks like. I have a little bottle of this. I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to go in and pat in with whatever's excess left on my brush. I'm using my foundation powder. And then, if you don't want to put no lashes on, you got longer eyelashes. Or if you just don't feel like putting eyelashes on, just go in with some mascara. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blash Volume. There it goes. And I'm just going to put some mascara on my eyelashes. Careful. Sorry. <laughs> My husband almost fell. <laughs> if you like to do the shimmy method, you could do that. With this mascara, it's a little... I don't really like the way that the brush was made, but I love... The mascara itself. It's waterproof. See the difference? <laughs> Gotta put on lashes if you want to, you don't have to. But I usually don't. I'm just gonna go in with the other side. Shimmy upward. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes also. And then some good old lip gloss. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Gloss Balm lip gloss. a little bit of lip liner so I'm gonna be using a little bit of the NYX lip pencil in the color nudge truffle I'm just gonna use that a little bit around my lip And there you have it. 
If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you would like to see next in my videos. See you soon. Bye.